All about fishing with Big Kev. You ever thought about the art of angling? Stay tuned. fishing with Big Kev. Today we're going to talk about the art of angling. We tried to do this last night but it didn't really work out like we wanted on the lake but uh, caught a couple catfish and we got home got the boat cleaned up so we're sitting here in the in the dining room building a new office by the way so hopefully uh, we'll get the carpet installed in there and get some things on the walls and we'll start doing some videos in there as well. Hey, today we're going to talk about the art of angling. When I talk about the art of angling, I'm talking about the passion that somebody has when it comes to angling or lures. Today I want to talk to you about crappie stopper jigs. Crappie stopper jigs are handmade one by one by a gentleman by the name of Kim Burnett here in Kansas. Kim Burnett has been a fly tying, jig tying advocate for 30 plus years, does an excellent job. He, he has done competitions, um, very avid, avid angler. And uh, today I wanted to show you some of his work. Um, he is one of my pro staff uh, sponsors, but I got into these jigs long before the pro staff came around. But I just want to share with you the difference in what somebody's passion is and something that, you know, old school that's in production. Just a little history on lures. Heaton Lures, this is a Heaton Lure. Heaton Lure Company was the first lure company to put lures into production over 100 years ago. These are Heaton's. Heaton Lure Company. So, uh, production lures have been around for a long, long, long time. Heat Lures, one company, this one everybody should know, Rapala, everybody's used to these. Um, these are actually made uh, in mass quantities now, and it's pretty interesting how they're made but they make thousands of them at a time. Um, I wanted to show you just some old school stuff that I dug up. This was just an old one that was probably a production lure at one time, but uh, you can see that lures have come a long way today in the newer stuff that you can buy. And then here's one other uh, lure that's just almost like a uh, tapered dowel rod with some hooks um, but hey they work and then everybody knows the lazy Ike lure these have been around for a long time as well but hey today I want to talk to you about crappie jigs um, Kim Burnett does these jigs one at a time and if you order uh, 12 jigs from Kim, he's building all 12 of those one at a time. So if you look at these jigs, these are some of the work that he has sent me. Um, great work. Here's one that kind of resembles a, a bumblebee. This one here is a little bit of a resemblance of a bumblebee. Um, but each one of these is on his website, crappiestopper.com. So check them out. Um, I, I got several of them here. I keep them in this container. But uh, there's the logo if you see it around. But it's crappiestopper.com. One thing I invite you guys to do 
is every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Central Time on Facebook, Kim Burnett, B-U-R-N-E-T-T. -T. Kim Burnett goes live at 7 p.m. Wednesday nights, Central Time, for one hour, and he physically sits there and will converse with you, but he's constantly tying jigs or flies. Um, you will see the craftsmanship and the talent that's involved with making these crappie jigs. So when I say it's an art form, the reason I believe it's an art form is because somebody's putting their heart into what they're making and each one of these is, is its own individual character and, and has got Kim's love in it really. I mean, if you think about it, these other lures, the newer lures, you know, they're spitting them out of a machine as fast as the machine will run and yeah, somebody might have spent a few days designing them on a CAD system, but uh, once that's done, they're just spit out by the thousands. These are individually done. Uh, when I ordered these from Kim, I paid for these. I told Kim, give me 12 dozen of your best ones. And believe me, he's got a ton of them on his website. So he come up with all kinds of, of opportunities for me to try different weights and uh, I haven't even got through this box and tried them all but I will tell you they're they're they're, they're crappie catchers um, they catch white bass too I've caught white bass on them as well but uh, each one of those 12 dozen was hand tied one at a time by Kim so please check them out uh, sit in on a Wednesday night, seven o'clock Facebook video, and just watch the talent and the technique that goes into building a crappie jig. And uh, they're very reasonably priced. If you're interested, I'm sure Kim would be glad to take an order from you on his website, crappiestopper.com. Hey, just to, to give you a little note, a side note on what's going on. Um, we're building an office here at the house and I've, I collect a lot of fishing reels, old time reels, Abu Garcia reels, all different kinds and also lures. And I'll put my display up in there and I'll, I'll do a video on it. I think the car carpet layers are going to be here probably in a week or two. But uh, uh, if any of you really have an interest in old reels and what they, you know, what's out there and the different kinds, this is just very interesting how the reel has gone from basic to today's world and what's involved and and what makes the 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 expense of the reel, the complete, the how complex they are from back when they, you know, back in the day. So stay tuned for that. Please like and subscribe. Uh, love to have you on the, uh, uh, as a subscriber to the channel. But uh, uh, wanted to touch base today on the jigs and uh, show you what somebody's heart, when they put their mind to it, can build. And I'm gonna tell you, they are fish catching lures. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys. Again, like and subscribe and tune in 7 p.m. Facebook, Kim Burnett on Facebook on Wednesday nights. Check out his good work. We'll see you on the water.